Hello guys, as a second video of today, I randomly decided to make a random Japanese lesson video today because I haven't made it in a while. So today's topic is this. This wavy line is, I would say, nami nami, uh, nani nani, meaning blah blah blah, nani nani. Nani nani no ho ga. So basically, how to use this is when you're comparing. Uh, how do you? Go to the next page. Yeah, when comparing more than two things, one more than one thing. So, if you say A is blah blah blah, R like better, prettier, nicer. That oh, okay. Then B. A is better, nicer, bigger, whatever, than B, B, you'd say A no ho ga B yori blah blah blah. The blah 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 part will be here. If it's Bigger in Japanese, it would be oki. So we don't actually have what's in English er or est when comparing things with adjective in Japanese. So oki means big, but this doesn't change whenever it is, if it's comparing something. So Instead, we have no ho ga blah 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 no ho ga blah 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 yori. So, this expression shows when you are comparing something. Whereas in English, you, you use er or est ending form to show you are comparing something. And er or er plus than or e est of blah 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 or something like that so it's simple is that basically so you can also say you like something than something like I like apple than orange so with an example of apple we we say lingo no Got another dot, but I can write it here. So, Lingo no ho ga. Actually, what's Mikan and what's orange are technically different, I think. Orange is orange, orange is orange in Japanese, but Mikan is Mikan. Lingo no ho ga Mikan. Yori. My dirty writing. Lingo no ho ga mikan yuri suki. Forget about this or must think. I don't like it. This is basically only a statement that you say, I like apples than oranges. Lingo no ho ga mikan yuri suki. Or you can say in other way, you can kind of interchange. Mikan yori lingo no ho ga tsuki. Yeah, my messy writing though, you can, you can still read it. Yeah. Besides this expression, one something I found interesting is when writing alphabet, English alphabet, you like you write A like this. A could be different from people. Like on computer, A show A is shown is shown like this. I mean, like, like this. But when, for example, write. Red, what's red in Japanese? I mean in kanji. 
it's like this but it's not if written beautifully it's not like this technically but it's kind of bit too hard to write with finger this is more neatly written but some people write like a, like this but still people can read it so that's kind of interesting thing that especially foreign people who are learning kanji think that there's only kind of one way to write kanji meaning neatly beautifully but like my grandmother she writes Japanese really dirty so even I can read it oh, it's like only she can read it but yeah so I, I write something randomly Yeah, can you read it? Japanese people must be able to read this, I know. But I don't know if you can read it even though, even though you know kanji or you can read Japanese. Yeah. I'm writing it as messy as I can. This was maybe too messy, but... Can you read this part? Yeah, that's it. So, Ringo in Kanji would be, I guess it was something like, I'm not sure, like this, I think. Let me. Type it. Dingo, dingo. Ah, he was close. Okay. So, anyway, that was it. So, yeah, that's it. Bye. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. And now you can say, now you can compare things in Japanese. Blah blah blah, and the whole got. Blah blah blah, yori, blah blah blah. Yeah, simple. It is simple, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Bye, thanks for watching.